What's up fam? Welcome back. The difference between being a chosen one and being a narcissist. If you're a chosen one, you're at some point you're probably going to be accused of being a narcissist. But you are not the narcissist. It's them that's the narcissist. So well, what's the difference? I mean, a narcissist maliciously attacks his prey. A narcissist deliberately goes out of his way not to get ahead, but just to bring another person down. Or they use the method of bringing others down to get ahead. They can be very cunning. Chosen ones are not cunning individuals. And that's not to say cunning's a good thing. Because I don't uh, think so. Finding a way to success with mischief is just unethical in our eyes. Chosen one gets ahead by adding value to the world. A chosen one gets ahead by solving other people's problems. This is the A-OK -okay method of going after wealth. You're solving other people's problems in a benevolent way. Then you're a chosen one. If, you if you're somebody that constantly finds yourself solving other people's problems, whether you make a bunch of money for it or not, you're a chosen one. If you're watching this video, chances are you're a chosen one. And I'm sure there's a couple narcissists watching this video. And don't get me wrong, chosen ones will be able to recognize it within themselves. At some point, you might say something and recognize that you're like, oh crap, I kind of threw some shade at that person. I didn't mean to. Chosen ones are able to self-reflect where narcissists never self-reflect. And this is right probably where the narcissist clicks the video off. Narcissists only value themselves. They're hardly shaken when close ones die because they that they are that infatuated with themselves. Some people even try to pretend to be narcissists just because they see that the narcissists are, or at least appear like they're succeeding just to be trapped in like this swirl crap of fucks is essentially what the narcissist finds himself in. And it's not to say that they don't have emotions, because they certainly do have emotions. And it's very tough to get under their skin. You have to really genuinely know the person. And getting to know a narcissist is always a dangerous thing, because they're very good with their tactics of bringing others sense of awareness and esteem down to a lower vibrational level just so they can get into that person's head and get them to react and do things like a puppet essentially is where a narcissist's goal is to use other people as a puppet a chosen one's goal to solve other people's problems. I'm going to call this part one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep that vibration up, guys. Praise Jesus. All the praise be to God. Amen. Peace be with you.